Good day. Good day indeed. I haven't worked a job since September of uh, 21. Okay. While I'm getting my proposal together, I said, not a lot of books are moving or journals are moving, things of that nature right now. By the way, the book should be by, by and uh, one of them, the African Powers book should be by in about 10 more days. I had a custom made one done. Um, along with brand new international poetry whore business cards. And I just updated my Google today. I've made 5,528 contributions. My Google has over 2 million views. You know what? That sounds better than YouTube or my OnlyFans. I think I'll leave my business information right there in that little bio profile box. Yes, absolutely. Anyway, um... I said, well, if I was to work anything for hourly pay, it would be in something I would want to learn about. I'm getting into lingerie. Other than me wearing the product, uh, showcasing the product once I'm in it, and uh, designing it, because I like how something is designed when I have it mastered in my head. I have no uh, real experience <laughs> in regards to what the people in the actual market do. Quite frankly, I've enjoyed the, the, uh, the sensual side of it, the, uh, playful side of it, the lustful side of it, the um, pleasure side of it, the beneficial side of it that has not been from the creator's standpoint as far as owning the business um, to that extent. So I went to Google some of my favorite places I have visited here in Indianapolis because I've been to a lot of uh, stores, you know, toy stores, candy shop stores, whatever kind of stores you want to call them. And um, Cirilla's is one of my favorite places. The last time I was in there, they gave me a, um, they gave me a, a stripper dance an entertainment discount, I spent over $300. Yes, I mean, I shopped like I had never shopped before. I bought a whole rack of lingerie to wear. And then, uh, and some other things. And then, I bought them heels I can hardly wear, but they are really pretty to pose in and do photo shoots in. Anyway. Then... Another one of my favorite places is the Lion's Den. And it carries a product called Thirst Trap in regards to lingerie. Those are my favorites. Um, as far as... I've only been to Lover's Lane... And tasties once. So Lion's Den and Cirilla's has been my go-to. Um, up north. That doesn't include states in between. That is just Indianapolis. 
So I Googled, I said, okay, well, I want to be at the library in the morning and I want study time from this time to this time. I want at least three to four hours a day, at least three to four times a week to do whatever I need to do via audiobooks or whatever products I need to work on in quiet and peace at the library. After that, I want to go to the candy shop. You know, if I could, I want to go to the candy shop after. After I go to the candy shop for a few hours, I want to go perform in the evening and come on back to the crib. So that's how things were laid out in my mind. And so I started naturally. What time is it going to take me to get from whatever establishment I choose to work at? Because really, they think they're choosing you, but you choosing them. Um, to get downtown to the main station and to, to get me to whatever destination I choose that is available that evening to perform. Most performances for open mics that I have not planned myself, that somebody else has been the event organizer, start at about 8.30, 9 o'clock p.m. at night. And I love my poetry folks. But uh, they say 8, 30, 9 o'clock. They really mean it ain't jumping up until 9.30-ish. Okay? All right. Praise the Lord. It is what it is. So they provide the, the free venue. Some of them. Some of them aren't. Some of them cost. Uh, the music, the host, they got everybody in place. The DJ, some of them live bands, whatever. Y'all handling it? Whatever. I'll work whatever time I got to work with. Okay? I appreciate y'all uh, doing the platform because I have realized having to, done, having to do the event organizations for some things myself, how much work actually goes into that. So I said, well, to leave wherever I'm going to be at, to get downtown and take the bus to wherever I want to get to, to be there at a decent time, is going to be about 7 o'clock at night. I would need to be off the clock at 7. So I started to go look at what was closest to me, because I don't want to, do I want to go to the west side? Do I want to go to the east side? Do I want to go up north? What's the time frame for each of them for me to start figuring out how I want to go forward and my arrival time uh, and what's going to give me the best uh, advantage because I want to learn, but I also need to be able to uh, propel forward in these other areas too. There's one down the street. Never heard of them a day in my life. I'm not even going to say the name of the website. It's in half an hour. It's half an hour. And I walk all the time. From, I walk I walk an hour, a mile or two. Maybe a little more. I walk all the time. Been here since forever. Um... That liquor store in the corner, I have visited many times. I had no idea in my own neighborhood, 30 minutes walking distance from where I'm at, that there is an adult entertainment store next to the Libby, next to the, uh, next to the L. Something wrong. So I said, you know what? They need me. <laughs> I was, I had, I had Googled about, now I don't know how they're going to take it when I reach out, if they're going to jump out of a bag, 
if I'm going to be everything but, but I am going to reach out. But I had Googled One, two, three, four. I had Googled four possible places that I wanted to. Um... Now that's funny, that just popped in my head. That I wanted to apply. Kind of like an internship for pay while I get me some knowledge in me. And what's funny is Victoria's Secret up until right this very moment never popped into my head. That was not on my list, uh, nor do I intend it to be. But um, after I got finished visiting this site that is close to my house, and I'm, I'm real nosy. And I used to be in the insurance business, so I'm really analytical. Uh, it takes me, took me a minute to come out of my shell and my creative side. So I had thought about leaving it on their website, but I'm just going to call them and see how they react at first when I ask her if I can interview her. For a job position, or her, him, whoever, don't matter. Don't matter gender, don't matter any of that. So, this, before I even reach out to them, these, this is what I had in my head. I was thinking about applying for a part-time position. After visiting the website reviews and looking at photos, I started to ask a few questions. I have been to many toy shops. I had no clue this shop was even in my neighborhood. These are the questions. When did you found the company? Because I visited the company website. How many stores are there outside of Cleveland and Indianapolis? Tell me about yourself. What made you get interested to start selling adult materials? Do you absolutely love what you do? If so, why? What are the pros and cons of the business? Your measurements. Do you wear lingerie? If so, how does it make you feel when you put it on? How would you rate your current business on a scale of one to 10? One being the lowest, 10 being the highest. How does the grounds welcome clientele upon arrival to your business? What makes your business unique besides it being woman owned what is the last product sold and the pricing what is your most frequently sold item do you carry plan b and contraceptives how about educational seminars in regards to contraceptives in your place of business? How often do you have those? How is the plus size collection as far as design and comfortability? How often is the store merchandise updated? The library is constantly cleaning out books that are not being uh, checked out so that they can get new books in. You gotta have it move. You gotta move it. You gotta move that 
Move the weight. You got to move it. Okay. All right. Old items out. New items in. Discount supplied. They have a huge deep. We're going to get to that in a minute. How often is the website updated? Edited grammar. Font. Font color. Punctuation and pop appeal. Your prime real estate likes color. Lady or male, whoever you are. You are not. What am I? How, you are in a very ethnical environment. There are not many um, non-coloreds. In your neighborhood, we do not like things plain looking like the asylum. <laughs> we like color. We like pop. We like pizzazz. We like creativity. We like unique. We like different. We like easy on the eye. I think y'all got the point. Okay. Um, if there are 700, I visited the website. If there are 799 items in stock on your website and I was considering one, I see your company has plenty in stock as opposed to if I go to Amazon or Etsy and there's only three of that same item left in stock. What will encourage me to still purchase from your site? When you have an overabundance and they like, look, this you on this the last one, shorty. <laughs> you better grab it now. This is already in somebody's basket. They telling you something like that. Okay. If there is Wasn't no reviews on the website that I could see on the um, official website. Not the Google uh, review, but they're like official website. Like not one review. Anyway. Now on the Google website where you do reviews and stuff. I said, is there a reason no picture is displayed on your Google public owner photo for response back to reviews? Speaking of photos, are there professionally updated photos that display the outside and inside of the store? The ones on Google are outdated. I've also noticed there were no photo uploads from clientele reviews for some time. What is your turnaround time to answer questions on Google reviews? I'm asking these questions, but I already looked up 95% of these questions. The reviews you have on Google Review and your website, are you able to combine them together in one location on your website? Individuals that purchase from your site, are they able to leave a review on your personal store website as well? Is there a reason the store hours are limited? Maybe there's something I don't know, which is why I'm going to call and talk to them. Um... If you have barely any reviews after six years, 29 reviews, matter of factly, after six years on your Google at 3.6 star, and there's no reviews on your normal website link, where is the, where is the revenue coming in? So is this like a secondary business and you go do something else at nine o'clock? Is this not your main focus and you got something else that you, I need, I need some questions asked, you know, um, you close at like eight, nine and 10 in the evening. Cirilla's is at least open. Cirilla's Myers and everybody else is at least open 
mainly, unless it's like a Sunday or something, until midnight. But with you being right next to one of the number one liquor stores in Indianapolis, when I say prime real estate, baby, um, in the heart of the hood, and they close at three o'clock because not many of the Indianapolis liquor stores close at three o'clock. One of the rare ones. They are one of the rare ones. You should be have. I'm going to get to that. You should be bumping. You should have reviews overflowing all over the place. What is the employee turnover rate? Longest employed employee rewards for lengthy service and dedication. Shortest employed employee, was there an attempt to follow up to inquire the separation? Employee dress code. <laughs> I have it. The last movie I watched was The Matrix. But one of my favorite movies, and y'all can talk about me if you want to, is Will Smith, in, uh, Enemy of the State. Where he goes and he visits the lingerie shop for his wife to go shopping for her for their anniversary. And everybody's dressed in lingerie. Now, you know, I realize that I'm not in Georgia right now. And I am not in New York. And maybe it's not possible to walk around in lingerie. That might require... Since this is not a high upper class, <laughs> a high upper class uh, area that might end up in, uh, requiring some type of security. But you know what? If you get to a spot before that happens, you can still dress sexy for work, though. I think you should still be able to dress sexy. Um Hopefully, you get to a point in your establishment, like the liquor store, um, that you make enough to be able to generate and pay for security. Okay. Listen, I ain't even got to this place to even go through the doors yet to interview this is just based off of looking at the website I do like a challenge versus a normal hourly job I do like a challenge all right have you considered having events on Friday or Saturday after closing time to draw in clientele because nothing spoke to me about your business is what I'm thinking to myself to tell me there's a reputable business there that sells lingerie. Nothing over there says come visit me. More like plain Jane in the bedroom. Who wants pl No fits if you plain and the partner you with like it plain too. Girl, I don't have nothing against that. If you like it, I love it. Okay. So if you're going to be selling it, plain Janes normally are not selling it. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Plain Jane eventually lets you know she is not plain. <laughs> if you're going to sell the idea of it. At some point in time. Just saying. So I was thinking about types of events and charges for that type of event. Putting my event organizational skills to work. Um, and what that event would incorporate. Yeah. And then, let's see here. I figured outside during the summertime, inside during winter months. 
And then for the people who come for the events, you would offer them close to an employee discount to move out old stock, um, but still make a profit. So close to, not quite. Of course, I don't know yet what the employee discount is, if there is even one. Yeah, so... Do you own a DVD player? If yes, which of the three DVDs in the store are your favorite? Besides your store, when is the last time you visited an adult toy shop for acquaintances? Acquaintance, excuse me. Solely for the purpose of gathering ideas and comparison. Did you pick up flyers? I didn't see no flyers stand up there in that store. Did you check out their websites? Most websites in regards to um, toy stores have models modeling the clothes. Or they've got a couple on the front or... If I request an order in store, what's the turnaround time for it to get back to me? Listen, I'm petty. I'm real petty and thorough. Do you sell odd-shaped sensual candies in addition to intrinsic lipsticks? Uh, King Kong lip gloss. That's what I'm going to call it because I can't say the real word on YouTube, but it begins with a P. Uh, Brazier candies. Berry incense for spellcasting or whatever kind of incense. Fake candles, real candles, sex god statues, uh, bongs or hookahs, energy drinks. I went to the Lion's Den. They had an energy drink called, let me see here. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on. All right, I had to go look it up real quick. So, uh, Pedusi Natural Energy Drink, but that's not what it's called on Amazon. Since this is for educational purposes. All right. Yeah, I had to look that up. So I put you on hold while I looked that up. So apparel, clubwear, because I, I, again, I went to the website. Apparel, clubwear, fishnets, or high heels, also known as what I like to call hooker heels. Role play outfits. I didn't see any cards. Birthday, wedding, bachelorette, bachelor, anniversary. Cards, those are special moments in people's lives. How are you honoring that? What type of music do you play in the store? I may have to do a day visit and go down there. What sets you apart from the competition? To interest me in visiting your shop versus shopping online at a competitor. Instead of having merchandise arrive at my front door. Marketing tactics, lights, camera, and action. So I wrote down places that you could submit flyers to. All the popular hot spots. Uh, Great ways to advertise immediately through media, but that's a little bit more costly than it is for the flyers. But there are other things you can do because word of mouth is the most powerful tool and has been forever in history since day one through storytelling. I only think the Bible got spread around. (laughs) Or comedic. Or, uh... Or the flood stories, or whatever else. Or the Quran. How do we think any of that got? Word of mouth. Word of mouth is powerful. Word of mouth tells you about uh, concerts coming up. 
the new places in town where where the uh, hot spots are located. Word of mouth is the most uh, powerful. Girl, yeah, I had that. I recommend it. I went there and this was delicious or, oh, I read that book and this is what it helped me with and it has been life changing. And that's why every place you visit normally, normally, you are able to leave a review. If you're not able to leave a review, you probably should leave them alone. I'm just saying. Anyway. Um, holiday parties hosted. You should be happy. You can be, if you've not, you can have Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, New Year, anniversary parties for the business. Uh, vendor marketing. There are a lot of romantic, um, celebrations through the year, like lingerie day. What did you do for lingerie day? Or six, nine, you've been on my mind. I've been on you. Listen, we just had 69 day on June the 9th. Did you advertise for six, nine? That's, that's one of my favorite days of the year. What did y'all do as a shop? Okay, I have the entire list. How did you celebrate Pride Month? So we got Music Month, Black Music Month, and Pride Month. How did you celebrate either of them in the heart of the hood? <laughs> Do you got some balloons outside? Did you hold some successful celebrations? You need some outbound, you need an outbound representative at such events to market. Yeah. And then, um, I'm going to, there's a, there's a few articles out recent for word of mouth. One is on Business Insider. Uh, there's a couple of blogs in regards to trends as well. So that was after uh, so I paused there to do this video but wish me luck I don't know how it's going to go down I've never quite done this before but uh, most of the other places I was going to visit are established or they are in the more developed areas which would not need any of that work or have any of those questions that I just had um, they've been around some years and they've run by some pretty reputable people and even though the, I don't know who this person is over this business although my goal is to get to know um, and us work together to see what we can work out. Um, I don't know. I hope it. I hope it goes in my mind like I hope. But if not, either way, I'm gonna be all right. I'll either know whether I can keep it on the list as a possibility for a new project, or I can scratch it off. Keep you updated. Have a good week. <laughs>